Hello, everybody. Philippines, U.S., wherever you're watching from. It's old Dingaland Dan, Philippines Beach Bum. Coming to you from beautiful Aurora Dingaland. It's another one of my secret series videos. Not everything I say is a secret. I just try to give you good information to the best of my ability. Uh, you're welcome to double check whatever I say and uh, watch other bloggers. Maybe they have different opinions. But this one is about buying well, just about anything. Food, electronics, telephone, TV, refrigerator, whatever. It's just the best advice I can give you. As far as food, I just go locally. I mean, if you want stuff that's really hard to find, especially if you're an American and you like American stuff, you have to go to a bigger, uh, bigger city, one that have a regular grocery store, like uh, big, like S and R, or one of these grocery stores in the malls that are set up, uh, have like shelves that say USA or American food or something like that. I know like uh, Angeles City and Subic, places where there's a lot of foreigners, they have stuff like that. Here in the little province, they don't. I can't even get ketchup. The ketchup here is not good. It's not real ketchup. It's like sweet. It's got weird stuff in it. I don't know. My wife eats it. They all eat it. But I don't like it. Just different things like that. I don't know what else. Uh, mayonnaise, they only have like one kind. It's all right, though. Um, snacks, you know, like candy bars and chips. Unless you go to a 7-Eleven, pay big money. You can get that stuff, but it's not, you're not going to find it at Sorry Sorry stores or anything like that. And I sure, uh, in a big city like Manila, Makati or something, you can find all that stuff. But once you're in a little place like this, you're out of luck. Just buy it when you see it. Stock up. But uh, as far as fruits and vegetables... A lot of times they come right to your house and deliver it. I just buy it when people come here. I buy the local stuff. I keep the local people working. I'd like to do everything uh, within my brain uh, if I can. It's the best way. People really appreciate it. People appreciate it. You know, I mean, it... Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's not a problem. I'm sorry you got, uh, somebody, the guy's on a canoe here, he's getting seaweed, and he's just dropping it off on my beach here. I guess he's asking me if it's okay, but I don't understand what he's saying. So I'll tell my wife later. <laughs> anyway, back to what I was saying. As far as the food, just get it when you can locally, especially the vegetables. They call it gulai. When I buy meats, I buy vegetables, everything right out of the back of a tricycle. As long as it's fresh and the meats are on ice, fish is on ice, nothing wrong with it. We just wash it and then we put it in our freezer. Now as far as major electronics, refrigerators, freezers, stuff like that, even water pumps, whatever, you, whatever's major. You're not going to be able to find it in your in your small town, your little town here. There's no, there's no appliances here in Dingaland. We got to drive two hours to a place called Gabana Tuan. That's the closest place. And once you go there, there's a lot of different options. You got to shop around, like anywhere else. They're willing to make bargains with you. They're willing, willing to deal, willing to deal. 
not the malls. The malls won't. They have appliance stores in the malls. They're the most expensive, of course. The malls are paying high rents. So you got to go on the street. But look, one thing, don't buy the used stuff. There's a lot of places that have refurbished refrigerators, freezers, TVs. You want to try to save money, don't do it. Don't buy it because you're going to have problems with that stuff later on. It's refurbished for a reason. It broke at one time. It broke. It's no good. Could be crappy Chinese stuff. I don't know. I never buy used stuff. It's not worth it. Spend a little more. Get brand new. Something with a warranty. Look, the best way to do it, though, is go to a couple different stores. And have cash with you. Cash is king. The big department stores will take credit cards. They're one of the few people that do. But there's usually a tag on it that says cash price this, credit price this. So you always save a couple thousand pesos. And if you show them the cash, you say, I want to buy this today. I got the truck right here. Don't lower the price. They'll keep lowering it. They don't want you to leave. They don't want you to go somewhere else. They want you to buy it from them. Buy now. I mean, I saved a lot of money on my refrigerator and freezer by doing that. Thousands of pesos. You can do it. It's easy. You just got to know the people. You got to um, have somebody Filipino with you, like my wife, because she does the wheeling and deal and she does the bargaining. You just see an American walking in by themselves, forget about it. They're not going to really wheel and deal with you. But everybody's here is negotiable in everything. Well, not everybody, but most people will negotiate because they want your business. They don't want you to leave. Speaking of price tags, though, that's one crazy thing about the Philippines, especially the little sorry, sorry stores in the markets. Nobody has prices on anything. I said, just put a little tag on the shelf. So you don't have to keep asking you, Makano, Makano, Makano this, Makano that. How much? How much? Every five seconds, how much is this? Nothing has a price tag on it until you get to the big stores and they have price tags. But even then, they have a big shelf of stuff on it. They have one price uh says 20% off all items. But they only mean half the shelf. It's 20%. This half, it's not. So you got to be careful. Ask questions. But you can get a good deal. Just wheel and deal. These people will do it. Oh, wait, I hear the truck full of dirt. Let me just show you a second. Let me just show you. I'm going to interrupt this. Because some people want to see the dirt delivery. Okay. Chuck full of dirt. Like I said, we got a lot going on here. We got construction. We got dirt delivery. We got seaweed been picked up. We got all kinds of stuff going on. That's why I get these interruptions. And I hope you understand. Let them dump this load and I'll get back to what I was saying. There it goes. We're going to fill in this whole area. I don't know how many truckloads it's going to take. Right now, that's number five.
I told him 20 at first, but I think it's going to be more than that. Okay, so now you sell it. Hey, I'll show you the seaweed while you're at it. See this guy in the canoe? He's coming up. He's dropping his seaweed here. He's on the, he's on the rocks. He's trying to talk to me, but he don't know I don't know Tagalog. Low tide. He's on the rocks. So back, back to my little Kubo where I can finish this video off. And I apologize for the interruptions if you didn't want to see that. But I was pretty much finished saying what I wanted to say anyway. Just be prepared. Have cash with you. That's the best thing you can have. Cash is king here in the Philippines. Talks. Really, there's very few places to take credit. Only big department stores, stuff like that. SNR does. You can use a debit card. Uh, we shop there a lot when there is one around. Here in Dingaland, it's very difficult right now. We only get what we can get. That's it. That's all you can do. But at least we have enough. We have enough to survive lockdown. Because they're still strict here. Right? Not in the U.S., I know. You guys are going to have trouble with your second wave and third wave or whatever. Letting up too soon. I understand the situation there. But they're not going to do that here. Anyway, so if you like what I'm saying, you like these videos, you want to hear about something else, you're planning on coming here and you got questions, leave me a question in the comment section. But number one, hit that subscribe button. I need the subscribers. If you like what I'm putting out, if you like what I'm shooting, I shoot straight. Just keep on watching. Tell all your friends. We got this goofball, hippie-like dude that speaks like country. But he knows what he's talking about. Or at least he's entertaining for a little while anyway. Just keep on watching. And stay safe out there. And subscribe. Okay, y'all? Y'all take care of yourself. Dingaland Dan out.